Hi everyone, Janet Boyer here, and today I am unbagging a bead box bargain haul. So I've got lots of beads and findings, and <clears throat> they had a great Mother's Day sale, which I took advantage of. So I thought I would unbag it. It just came in the mail. Wow, just look at this. If you're interested in any of this, it's at Bead Box Bargains. Dot com. They also have a monthly box. And aw, uh, they always send a, a little gift taped on to their business card. That's nice. <clears throat> okay, let's see what we got here. I got a lot of dark green beads. I really love um, like dark emerald green beads, and I've had a hard time finding them. They're really cool, especially if you're doing like vintage Christmas pieces. But also, um, I have some Slytherin beads. I want to make some um, Slytherin jewelry. So, I got some <clears throat> dark green crystal. I don't know if you can see it. I'll open one of these up. If you're interested in it, there's the um, product code. That's a cool thing about these. Oh, I didn't realize how long I were. Oh, I got three of them. Look how beautiful. Emerald green faceted, so beautiful. And then I got the same color, but smaller. I think those are those were six millimeters, I think, and these are four, <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken. But the listing will be there on the site if you're interested in it. So it's same color, just smaller. You can see the difference. Sometimes you just want smaller beads, especially if you're making bracelets. And as you probably can tell, I love green. <laughs> Lots of green. Oh my goodness, I was going to make some mermaid jewelry. Holy cow. The only thing about bead box bargains is um, if you don't jump on a lot of their stuff, it could be gone and you'll never see it again. If I would have known these were so beautiful, I would have gotten even more. Well, I did get four pack. But look at these beautiful shell beads. Aren't those gorgeous? They're like metallic on one side. So beautiful. Wow. Can't wait to work with those. What else we got? Um, I got these pendants. They look like coral. Again, I was in a little bit of an underwater, beachy thing <clears throat> type of mood when I ordered. Must be my need of water energy, <laughs> water element. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? And I should have got three. Could have made earring and necklace set. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, more green. This is like just sage green, small beads. This is more of a, <clears throat> excuse me, Kelly green. Here's the coat on that. So this is a little brighter than the emerald. Oh, it's a nice intense shade. That's pretty. Okay, and then I got these. I think they're called... Are these pinch beads? Oh, these just might be faceted. Okay. Oh, wow. These are pretty. These will look really pretty on a mermaid. Um, design, because it almost has that pearlescent sheen to it. Beautiful. What else do we got here? <clears throat> oh, continuing with the ocean theme, I um, got one of their bargain bead boxes. I think it was last year, maybe even the year before I've been sitting on it. It was kind of like a red, white, and blue, mostly white and blue, um, like a seafaring theme. And I think it had like anchors and had some compasses, compass pieces. And I never did anything with it because I just wasn't into it at the time, but now I'm kind of feeling it. So these are check glass beads in like oceanic 
Chip Wills. Oh, wow. Those are beautiful. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, I forget what these are called. I don't think they're bead, called bead cages. Bead frames, maybe? Where you could fit a small bead in there. And it's, um, how do you pronounce that? Cloison? Cloison? I got a couple sets of this. Like lotus flowers, most beautiful. Also, um, I was gonna say thinking ahead to Christmas, but <clears throat> I'll just get this one out. It's just a simple um, sun. I think it was this was a sun pendant, but it looks so unusual. Oh, that's pretty. I thought it was more of a matte finish, but still, that's cool. So I got two of those. Might make a pair of earrings. Christmas time. Because again, V-Bucks bargains. If you don't jump on something you like, you may not see it again. And these were, um, they look like poinsettias. They didn't call them poinsettias, but I thought, oh my gosh, that makes such beautiful earrings for Christmas. I love the vintage -y Christmas. The more, like, richer orange or reds and golds and the deeper greens rather than the gaudy reds and I got this just one of these it was a rainbow pen pendant and I thought oh that'd be so cute to make a necklace out of different color beads oh wow that's tinier than I thought they should have it really up close I thought you could see the colors more if I would have known that I would have got another one made earrings instead of a necklace but still it's beautiful it's my fault for not you know decoding the millimeters and things that are listed <laughs> you just see it blown up and you're like oh pretty and then you, you know you hit by you've never done that have you <laughs> here's some more of those i think it's called clothesline again these are beads though they're not like bead cages or frames wow those are heavy and they're beautiful isn't that lovely got a couple sets of those and what else do we have? Oh, I'm a coffee fiend. In case you didn't know, my husband and I made a coffee tarot deck. He painted all the images. We're talking 78 plus a backing. Four elemental cards. A title card and all that. Um, and watercolor pencils. And you can find that on our Shea Boyer Etsy shop. Um, or janaboyer.com should go to my blog and you'll have all these. So we're like big coffee fiends here. And our son is a sews and he makes the coffee themed bags for our decks. We have homemade, uh, handmade sewn bags that goes with the deck. And of course I've written the companion book. So, but I saw these, I'm like, oh my gosh, have to get them. So I've got two sets. <laughs> so I'm gonna make earrings, maybe a necklace. Perhaps some junk journal dangles. We'll see. Look at these pretty deer pendants. Oh my gosh. I was thinking those would be so pretty in winter time to make, you know, earrings or a necklace or what have you. <clears throat> Sorry if I keep clearing my throat. Seasonal allergies, man. Hope you're not suffering with them. Oh my gosh. Look at that. You can see the enamel and it goes from like blue to green. Oh, wow. That is just beautiful. So I'm glad I got a couple of those. Um, oh, here's some more beads. This is more of a sage green. And then I just got some um, black and, and more green. The black was some because I needed some of that. And I just got some findings. I got some um, rose quartz flower beads. And some word things to make junk jangle, junk, junk jangles, oh my god, junk journal dangles. So, I hope you enjoyed this short video unboxing, and, uh, oh, 